hey, we're going to work on your groin today, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you're feeling yeah, it? Yeah, like right here. Okay. Anywhere else, nothing down to the thigh, doesn't go to the knee, nothing in the back? No, it's just right, no, right in that area. No SI joint stuff? No. Okay, good. So we've done rehab with you before, but we're going to do a little bit of advanced movements today. Um, most people with this can't tolerate knee to chest movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to do some variations on that versus trying to avoid it like we did in some of the other rehab. Okay. Okay. So uh, go on hands and knees, head facing this way. Okay. At no point in time should this, uh, these exercises bother your problem. If it does, I need to know so I can make a modification. Okay. Okay. It's a misconception. Uh, that people think that they have to go through their pain to make it feel better. That's completely wrong. Okay. Now with this exercise, we need to make sure all of the pads of your toes are actually on the ground. Okay. So if you find that those toes are getting sensitive or you feel like you can't really bend them back that far, just tell me as well. All right. Um, go ahead and can you push me up here? Um, you can hover your knees off the floor. Pause right there. Okay. Now, can you make sure, make it so your knees are allergic to each other? Can they, right there, a little less, pause right there. How long do you think you can stay here? I'm already shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you feel it? In my legs. In your quads? Yeah. Perfect. So you're going to, this is going to be a quad burner. Slow on the way down. Good. It's like your knees are uh, going into glass. I don't want them to break and uh, tear themselves up. So we're going to do just this exercise until you feel like your quads are on fire, but in reps of about 10 to 15 seconds with about three seconds break. Okay. okay? I'll only coach you when I see something's needed. Go ahead and pop up. Good. Right there. Great. So you kept your knees apart, which is what we want. Just stay right there. Breathe into my fingers. Good, slow on the way down. Good, come on back up, pause right there. Breathe into my fingers. Feels like you did 10,000 squats. <laughs> yeah. Come on down. Your wrist okay? Yeah. Okay, come on back up. Nice. Good breathing into the fingers. Nice decompressive effect on the spine. Come on down. Creates a little posterior tilt Ooh. in the pelvis too. Takes the pressure off that groin. Stay right there. Push your knees apart a little bit. Stay. Come on down. They're burning. Okay, five seconds. Go again. Stay right there. Good. Come on down. Now, can you walk your hands back a little bit towards your feet? A little bit more. Good. In this position, any pinchy? No. Good. So we're going to expose it a little bit to flexion, hip flexion, but the, the better your knees stay apart from each other, the better this will probably feel. Okay. Okay. Very lightly off the ground with your knees. Breathe in my fingers. Slow on the way down. Walk your hands back a little bit more. You think we can get them all the way to the knees almost? Oh, let's see. Okay, come on, come on up. Pause right there. Slow on the way down. There we go. Nice break. Okay, one more time. Right there, pause, breathe. Good. Come on down. Can you go on your elbows, make a diamond with your hands, and then walk out just a tad? Good. So this is a, we're going to do this version to give your wrist a little bit of a break, but I don't I want your quads to keep going. So Give me a little bit of room under your knees again. Even less room, cheater. Stay right there. Good. Come on down. And go again. Come on 
down. Last time. Great. Okay, flip on your back for me. We have one more exercise to do. This will be a lot easier on, on your arms. Okay. Now this is one that probably a lot of people have seen before and you may have seen too. It's, it's, it's a version of a dead bug, okay? Or of like a flutter kick. I don't want you to flutter kick and I don't want you to keep your, get your knees to unlock, okay? Or sorry, I don't want them to lock. If they do, this, lo this lever gets so long that it's gonna load your hip flexor a bit and it's gonna increase your symptoms, okay? So toes up a little bit. So can you see those nail polish that you have? Mm -hmm. Good. Right into there, you okay in that position? Yeah. Okay, bring your knees apart just a tad. Pause right there. Good. Can you stay there? Yeah. Any pain with it? No, it's okay. Okay. What I want you to try to do is, everything else is encased in stone. I want you to try to lower one heel towards the ground. Pause. Bring it a little closer. There you go. And now we're gonna lower it into the pond right below. It's like the edge of the pond. Come on back up, okay? Encased in stone, bring this guy down real slow. And back up. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, real slow on each. Great. We're just going to do a couple more, okay? This is something we don't want to spend too much time doing because this provokes a lot of people's problems. But if you do it well, we can expose a little bit today to some, some of this dead bug marching pattern in order to die another day and we can do it again a little bit more so on another day. Okay, one more time. Great, go ahead and bring both legs down. You feel okay there? Mm -hmm. Okay, test out your groin, see how that's feeling for you. Yeah, it feels okay. Good, yeah. cool. So this is a nice program I think that you can complement with your other one. The last time we did a little bit more of like glute priming and front wall, mm -hmm. but we really didn't expose the hip to too much range and flexion. Normally we call this a flexion intolerant hip, meaning flexion provokes it, mm -hmm. like deep squatting and sitting, but at some point you have to reintroduce it back in, you can't just avoid it. So there's a scaled approach to do it like this. So mm -hmm. when you're doing it at home, make sure that none of it bothers you. It's just hard to do when you get that quad burn that we did today. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you guys are looking for help with your groin pain, whether it be from hip impingement, labral tears, sports hernias, just reach out to us. We do uh, exercise programs like this to rehab and create adaptation around the hip so you don't have problems going forward. It's very easy to decrease pain, we just tell her don't do it. But if you wanna make sure that you have a good active lifestyle, you have to reincorporate load and activity through the remainder of the leg, and this is just one of the starting points. So we're in Coast Mesa, California. We have virtuals and in-person services so if you're looking for help, our link's in the description below, but certainly subscribe to the channel. We have more exercise programs just like this to rehab hips, groins, labrums, and so on. We'll see you next time.